Holy Time at Home. Presented by Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Hello, friends. My name is Miss Anne, and I am a children's librarian at the North Central Branch. And today I'm here to read a book to you called Can Cat and Bird Be Friends? Can Cat and Bird Be Friends? by Carl Muir. Are you a bird? Yes, I am. Then I must eat you. Why? Because I am a cat, and cats eat birds. Why do cats eat birds? I don't know. It's always been like that. Can't I be your friend instead? Oh, I'm not sure about that. How would a bird make a good friend for a cat? Well, I know a fun box for a cat to play in. I love this box. I know the highest tree for a cat to get stuck in. This tree is very tall. And I know the best car for a cat to hide under. I agree, this is a fantastic car to hide under. Okay, bird, you can be my friend. Wait a second, how would a cat make a good friend for a bird? Well, let me think. I know the perfect wire for a bird to sit on. This is a lovely wire. I know where there are lots of twigs for a bird to make a nest with. These are super sticks. I know where there are loads of juicy worms for a bird to eat. These worms are totally tasty. Okay, bird, we can be friends. But friends do things together, don't they, cat? Yes. Well, I don't like playing in boxes, getting stuck up in high trees or hiding under cars. And I don't like sitting on wires, making nests or eating worms. You're right. If we're going to be friends, we've got to find something we both like doing. So, what do we both like doing? I like stretching. Do you? Not really. Do you like cleaning yourself in water? No, I don't. Do you like licking? Nope. Do you like flying? Of course not, I'm a cat. I guess that's it then. We have nothing in common. We can't be friends. Oh well, I think I'll just go home. I've got a painting to finish. Painting? I love painting! I love painting too! We can be friends! Yes, we can! And there are their paintings. The end. I'm so glad that Cat and Bird figured out a way to be friends. And now we're gonna do something with our hands, something called a finger play. And we're going to turn our fingers into birds. We'll have birds on this hand. We'll have one, two, three. And we're gonna have cats on this hand. One, two, three, cats. And grownups, if you're listening, finger plays are short rhymes or stories that you can do with your fingers with your children. And they're great for boosting early literacy skills because they teach them vocabulary and break down words for them. Okay, so let's get ready. 
One little, two little, three little birdies were sleeping in the sun. When one little, two little, three little kittens said, come on, let's have some fun. Over to the birdies, the kittens went creeping as quiet as quiet can be. When one little, two little, three little birdies flew away out of that tree. All right, that's it. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to OhioImaginationLibrary.org to find out more.